Hey everybody, Ryan here at E-Trailer. Today on our 2014 Honda CRV, we're gonna be checking out the Thule Hitching Post Pro Hitch Mounted Bike Rack. So first impression of the rack on the back of the Honda, uh, I think it looks really good. And this is gonna be a great way to carry around a lot of bikes. You can actually hold up to four with this setup. And with this rack, you know, it's, it's really simple. Sometimes I feel like less is more. Um, and I think that's definitely the case with this one. Just a really straightforward design and has a nice modern appearance. And uh, I think it looks nice on the back of the CRV. It's gonna hold your bike down in three spots. So two straps here along the top tube. And then we're gonna have a strap down here on our seat uh, post tube. And that's gonna act as an anti-sway strap and help uh, you know, limit that side to side movement. That way our bikes ain't swinging and banging into each other uh, when we're going down the road. And what we'll go ahead and do pull our bike off so we can have a better look at the rack. So take the straps, pop them off. Same deal with this one down here. And then we're able to slide it off. Now, one thing that I like is the arms are relatively narrow, um, but not so narrow that they're not gonna support our bike. Uh, you should, should be in pretty good shape getting even smaller frame bikes off, but because of that, you know, we're not really gonna have to fight it too much when we go to pull our bike off. Something that I do really like about the setup is the cradles here where your bike's frame is going to sit. They're relatively wide and pretty deep. And there's some channels in there to let your cables, your brake cables and things like that pass through. Uh, it's made from kind of a hard rubber, almost a soft plastic, so it shouldn't, uh, Shouldn't beat your bike up or anything. And the straps are actually really impressive. Uh, these things are super thick. We put this rack on uh, vehicles almost daily just to try them out on different cars and things like that. So uh, it gets a lot of use and these things just hold up. There's, there's no, uh, no other way around it. They, they last a long time. And uh, that's not something you see with a lot of racks with similar type straps. Usually they're kind of cheap and flimsy and uh, that's just not the case with these. But with that said, when you're not using the rack, I do like to recommend just to kind of put them back like this, that way they're not flopping around or we don't have to worry about misplacing or losing them. Something that you do need to think about whenever you have the rack on the back of your CRV is the fact that it is going to extend the overall length of it. Now, this might not be a huge deal uh, to some people because the CRV is relatively short, so add in a little bit of uh, or taking up a little bit of space back here might not be a huge deal, but for those of you that have a small garage or, or pulling to tight parking spots all the time, definitely something you want to keep in the back of your head. So to figure out exactly how much space we are going to be adding, I'll just measure from the, the E here on our license plate to the very edge. And it looks like it's going to add about 42 inches to the back of our Honda. So uh, it does take up a little bit of space. However, when you're not using it, the arms do fold down and, uh, you know, it becomes a lot more compact. We're going to have a, a pen and clip here. Pop that on out. Fold the arms down. If you're going to drive around with it like this, definitely put that pen and clip back. And now you can see, they actually don't take up, take up hardly any space at all. So take that same measurement. And in this position, it looks like it's only going to add about 22 inches. So with it like this, you really shouldn't run into any issues. One of the big questions that we do get asked all the time in regards to hitch mounted bike racks is if you're still gonna be able to get into the back of your CRV when you have the rack on. And with this one, the answer is yes, it does fold down out of the way. We're gonna have a pen and clip deal here. Pull that out. The rack comes down. And that's gonna give us more than enough room to get anything we might need in and out of the back of our Honda. So moving on down here, the rack is gonna work with those two inch by two inch receiver tube openings like we have here today on our CRV. But it also has the ability to work with the smaller inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter hitches. So if your CRV has that one, still work with it. And not to mention if you have different vehicles in the household, chances are pretty good you can, you can use this rack with all of them. It is going to come with an anti-rattle bolt, and what that's going to do is help 
eliminate you know that slop and play here in the connection point. That way this isn't rattling around and, and clunking and making a bunch of noise. So kind of give you an example on how that's gonna work. Say for driving down the road, hitting some bumps, you can see that the rack is moving with our Honda and not on its own. So at the end of the day, you know, this is a great fit for the CRV. Uh, looks good and is going to function uh, the same. You know, these things are really popular and I can see why they, they're just well built, uh, super easy to use, and you know, they're gonna last a long time. And if you're anything like me, you always wanna see the product you're interested in actually working or in action. So why don't we go ahead, load up some bikes, go out on the test course and see how this does. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. And that'll finish up our look at of the Thule Hitching Post Pro Hitch Mounted Bike Rack on our 2014 Honda CRV.